Hi, this is Johnny Bergen with another Chicago Blues guitar lesson. This time we're solidly back in Chicago with Lee Cooper, great unsung hero of Chicago Blues. He played with Eddie Boyd, Big Bill Brunzi, some killer sides with Howlin' Wolf, Jimmy Witherspoon, and others. But um, I want to talk about his Howlin' Wolf stuff now. A lot of you guys probably know him from Third Degree, one of the most famous blues songs of all time. Eric Clapton did it and so many others. But uh, this Howlin' Wolf stuff is incredible. And I've got a loop going on this song called No Place to Go, which is one of those uh, one chord songs by Howlin' Wolf in E. Um, I'm, I did a loop on it, but let's talk about this. You could do this. You could do the whole basic part of the song with just one finger. How many more years are you gonna wreck my life? Played this song a million times with Tail Dragger. Anyway, second fret, G open, second fret, D string. And he plays a really interesting solo over just one chord, and later on we're going to talk about how he plays the changes, but this sort of sets out some of his little Lee Cooperisms, so it was nice to start with this one. So let's play it first. It's probably a little loud. Okay. Neighbors is another really swinging one. Um, this is just so fun to really just try. You could do a loop like. Or just do the guitar. Yeah, that was kind of had a lot of the same uh, same things in there. It has that same dive. Same thing. It's all the way. It's the fifth note of your chord, and then real swing. The note on the uh, his licks on the on the four chord almost sounds like bebop. Yeah, he really he's sort of fluttering his pick. I think it. Something like that. So it's all 15th, 14th, and 12th. And then he has this real way of swinging. And he sort of wraps it all up in a bow. Yeah, he was pretty inspired on that one. It's funny, by the time we get to Rockin' Daddy, um, he's doing a lot of the stuff that he would do uh, in the Eddie Boy. So this is a nice swinging thing in G, which is... That kind of thing. And he, he changes, first he bops his chords for a while, and then during the piano solo, he kind of goes chomp, 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 chomp. And then he has this amazing way of linking all these things together, like here, like a real swing of T-bone, that kind of thing. And then to this, to this. So 
he manages to travel through it all and just sound really graceful. So the beginning of uh, Rock and Daddy is like this. <laughs> And then he does his dive bomb. Which is super T-bony. So it's like he kind of got jazzier and jazzier as it went on. Wow. Let's try it again. So this is out of a G chord like this, and he plays a seventh. See how slow and luxurious you can make it sound, not like this. Really sort of lean into that bend like you're leaning back into a chair. Let it go for a while, and now it's like, let's go somewhere else. Awesome. So that's out of this G. It's just related to your old campfire G chord up here 12, 12, 12, D, G, and B strings, pinky here. And so. Then use these two fingers, third and second, on the 16th and 15th fret. It's a nice way to play it. You could play it down here, here. But I like it better here, it sounds like. And then you're ready for your dive bomb again. Nice silence there. I'm getting that a little mixed up with the Eddie Boyd solo, but they're really similar. So uh, I'll put the Eddie Boyd solo in there in a minute. And uh, anyway, he has these little trademarks that he does. So he has the same way of traveling down his positions. This is just your full Eddie Boyd, which I'm uh, getting ahead of myself. And then he, he's playing right out of your C9 and a C7 shape like that. It's funny, they're almost the same solos. You gotta check out a Just Your I'm Just a Fool by uh, Eddie Boyd. The, the solos are almost exactly alike, but that's a beginning for like what he did with Howl and Wolf. And uh, have fun with these chords. The G6, move it up three frets, and you've got a really good four chord. In this case, five, three, three, three. Dive bombs that end with a definite stop. So he has this clever way of breaking his phrasing from a swinging thing to something more exact or something from this to. So he's just intriguing at every turn. I wish I knew more about Lee Cooper. I know he was a chemist. I heard he even had a glass eye because of some chemistry uh, accident. Um, unusual. I think he died in 1966. Um, don't, I can't even find a picture of him. I'm sure some of you guys must have a picture of him. Um, don't know much about Lee Cooper, um, but he sure did let his guitar do the talking. Just killer stuff. So have fun swinging it, mix it, linking your positions. This one, this one, this one. Or if you're an E, this. Experiment with a good distorted tone. It's kind of like Willie Johnson part two, you know? And uh, have fun with this. Uh, don't forget these cool things. That's just cool. He really is like describing those seventh chords, right? So if this is a bit of a hard lesson, let me know that too. You know, I didn't hunt down every single lick. Um, right at the end here, I'm gonna put that solo, at least as a demonstration of uh, Just a Fool by Eddie Boyd.
Thanks for watching and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Join me on Patreon for weekly guitar chats and see you next time. Thank you.